I'm joined in studio by Massimo Orione. His restaurant has certainly caused a stir online this week for a very specific reason. Massimo, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Now, you have not been out of the limelight this week, and it all started with a review on TripAdvisor. Before we go into, into too much detail, won't you start us off by explaining what had happened? Okay, on Friday night, uh, dinner time, we had this booking for six people, uh, three of them, they, they were already in, they haven't even started eating, and the guy called me apart, and he said, oh, can you come outside, I need to talk to you. Uh, first thing I have to tell you, I'm a bit drunk and I'm not a doctor. So it sounded a bit, oh, what, what, what does he want? <laughs> and he just said, oh, I have seen the guy at the pizza station. He's got a plaster on his head. I recognize him because I'm Zimbabwean. I recognize him as a fellow Zimbabwean. And I'm sure he's got uh, some illness like HIV because he's got a plaster. He's very skinny. So, well, first of all, he's not from Zimbabwe. He's from the DRC. Oh, then if he's from DRC, he must have Ebola. At that point, I just told him, listen, you have no space here, you have to go. I have to, you have to leave because I have nothing for you. I don't want a client like you. And that's it. He just went. He paid for his drink. He only had a glass of wine with me, but he was drunk before. Uh, and for me, the story was finished there, you know, a bad story, and that's it. But the morning after, I found this review in TripAdvisor, where he was saying that my, my reaction was uh, like I didn't care. So I had, to, I had to reply to this review because, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I care about my workers and I know that this, this poor guy, he had a little plaster here, he cut his head on his house during the shedding. Yes, it's a very South African problem, injuring yourself during load shedding, actually. That's the thing. I think we all have done that. I cut my head more than once and I have been at what I used to do all the pizza myself. And uh, sometimes I had plaster and nobody ever complained. So that was clearly a racist. Just because he was from West Africa, he had to have Ebola. Uh, I did my reply, and luckily after two days, uh, the reply was published in TripAdvisor because the restaurateur cannot put a reply, it's published. But then TripAdvisor deleted the, the review because it's clearly against all the rules. They haven't even eaten my place. So they, how can you review a place if you haven't eaten it? And a plus of the racist and the, you know, really bad review. Absolutely. In fact, um, you went further because they were concerned then <coughs> that he wasn't wearing gloves and you said, well, here's a video of what is considered to be one of the best pizza places That's right. in the world. That's Tell us right. about that. Uh, well, uh, uh, Da Michele, I think it's called, in Napoli, is where Julie Roberts filmed uh, uh, some scene of uh, Eat, Pray and Love, I think. And But if you look online, you just search for pizzeria or pizza making. You never see a guy wearing gloves because you work in an oven which is 450 degrees. If you put your hands with the side, they, they will just melt. The important is the cleanliness of the whole environment. And so, you know, the, the gloves is not, is not an issue. 